Yo, what's up guys? We're here for the last Loud House episode reaction of the week, titled Antique Doth. So, let's see how this goes. Lincoln is a magician? Do you learn that from the WAN? Oh. Yeah, except for the mustache. I like to see what it looks like. Well, you just learned that magician stuff from the magician. Cool, that's nice. Right. Rumor has it. It's nice, but you know I'm more of a Victorian era guy. Of course, but this is a rare opportunity to own a piece of His Majesty's throne. Well, it's awful in one. Oh, Alfred, you are a lab riot. Uh, he just fell asleep, sorry guys. Sorry. I think you don't know Lisa. <sighs> oh, his, well, his sister. I was really looking forward to the two of us getting our antique on. I'm sorry, bud. Maybe mm. someone else will be free. Zach? So, how would you like to hit the flea market with me tonight? Hmm. Last time I had fleas, I had to stay home from school. It's not a market for actual fleas. They have antiques. We don't do antiques. My parents won't decorate the house with anything. <coughs> Sorry guys, I have a mild cough. You never know where those government spies put their listening devices. So, is that a no? Meh, let them listen. I'm in. Awesome. Phew. 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 I like that. Why? I thought we were going to ride bikes to school this morning. Hey bud, sorry about that. I wanted to get to the library it's early. Gotta go research all those antiques I bought yesterday. Wow, looks like you've got a lot of stuff. Wow. Did we ever? I got some cool old plates, a cloak from before Hawaii was a state, and these sick glasses. Ooh, he looks like Chucky like from the Rugrats. So, you had a good time? Doesn't look like Zack anymore. He looks like Chucky from the Rugrats. I never knew old stuff could be so much fun. He's really wow. got a knack for antiquing. You should have seen him haggle with the rug guy. And I'm so glad um, I did. This baby's gonna look sick in my family's panic room. Mr. Clyde! Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, Lincoln. Uh, good thing I didn't buy the sword. Good thing you didn't buy this. Lincoln, come on in. The boys are in Clyde's room. Thanks. Wait, did you say the boys? boys? The key is using a oh, it's free cloth. Clyde and right? Zach. We're hanging out tonight. We are. I just invited Zach to hang out with us. Want to join in on the fun? Throw on a pair of those gloves, buddy. We're cleaning up these antiques. You're having fun by cleaning up? You should really try it, Lincoln. It's very relaxing. Zach oh, Girdle was his last you name. You guys are done. Mind if I grab one of these root beers? Sure, help yourself. Wait, I don't have any... No! There's so good people on these onion elixir! Copyright 1812! Oh, could he die from that? This is one mighty fine piece of silverware. The inlay looks like it's pre-Civil War. That's a great catch there, Zachary. I'm very impressed. I think Lincoln's getting jealous. He thinks that... Zach still Clyde's making his best friend. Hey Clyde, check this out. Oh, cool. Please don't be too rough with the glasses. They're antiques. Looks like depression era if you ask me. Did you hear that, Hair Bear? Can we get an extra scoop of ice cream for this little antique expert over here? He's getting ticked. The Dreamboat. Like there's a robot super destroyer movie on. Oh, is it the first one? The sequel? The prequel? Or the remake? The remake of the prequel. So oh, the remake of work. the prequel. Let's do it. What do you like? Do you like sequels or prequels or remakes or reboots? Post your comment down below. Wait, what? Who wants to watch Robot Destroyer? No. Sorry, bud, but we have watched it four times. Really? Again. This piece would bring in five thousand dollars. Whoa, how'd they I didn't even what? know five thousand Clack McClurdle? Just a nickname that Zach came up with. Not, why what happened to Clink in the Cloud? Yeah, sure. Okay. 
I gotta go home. Wait, wait, you know, armoires are up next. They're the bad boys of the antiques world. Yeah, you should stay over, Lincoln. We're getting up bright and early to go bargain hunting at yard sales. We wow. got safari hats and everything. No thanks. You guys clearly have your own. It should be Lincoln McClurdle. Cloud. Dang it. Uh, dang it. Poor Lincoln. Attention, Amazing Brawlster fan club. You're invited to a super secret pop up magic show. Bring a friend. Well, that friend sure isn't going to be Clyde. He's too busy dusting spoons with clack. But who clack. Is him? I've got plenty of friends. Like who? Ronnie Ann, Liam, Rusty? Liam! Howdy, he said howdy. I've got an extra ticket to the amazing Brailster. Oh, uh, I'd love to, but uh, it's winter season here on the farm. You know, that magical time of year when we wean piglets from their mamas. Oh. I need to be around in case there's some kind of a wean scene. Uh, for example, okay, okay, I get it. Rusty. What's good? Hey, Rusty. I figured Rusty. The greatest magic show on earth tonight. Tonight? I totally would, but I've got a hot date. In fact, Ooh? I better go iron my jeans. Stella? Stella, buddy old pal. I've got an extra ticket. Um, I don't really call girls buddy. I wish I could go, but I promised my granny I'd help her set up a dating profile. She said she's ready to get back out there. So... <sighs> Hold on, I'm getting another call. Oh, it's Lynn. Hey, Lynn? Do you want to go call to the magic show? <laughs> Wait, what did he call her? Oh, I just called her Lynn. It's Lynn. Hey, LJ. LJ. Go to a magic show? She's gonna no. call him stinking. <laughs> Flip. Flip. Can I get one bubblegum flippy to go? Just one? Today's special twice the flippy for only triple the price. No. Just one's good. I just thought he would I'm ask one of his sisters. <laughs> He didn't have fun? What? Yeah, Clyde is not... Lynn, stop calling Lincoln stinking for pity's sake. Lincoln, why don't you call Lynn something? <laughs> oh, poor Link, poor Clyde. Um, oh, holy cow, I never heard him scream like that. I was wondering if I could talk to your business associate, Tucker. Uh, I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Flip. <laughs> Tucker. What can I do you for? I need to sell some tickets and buy some tickets. Alright, we'll see what happens next. Stay tuned for part...